Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Yep, we, yeah. Left the daycare, yeah, last time we underground path for the next destination. We went in and out of the underground path a couple times, and now we arrived in Vermilion City and saved! Alright, well let's talk to this lady. The urge to battle with someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too. So, I've been giving these away. Please, take one. Obtain the Versus Seeker. Yep. Use that device and you'll find trainers looking for a rematch. You have to charge its battery to use it though. Pardon me. Luckily, it appears to charge off static electricity. What happens is if you use this on a route that you've already cleared out, and only outside, not in caves or buildings, any trainers that you have beaten that are ready for a rematch will have two exclamation points over your, their heads. Ones who are not ready for a rematch will have X's. Ones you haven't fought yet will have a single exclamation point. Obviously, they have just discovered Solid Snake. It is... It is true that a high-level Pokémon will be more powerful, but all Pokémon will have weak points against specific types. So there appears to be no universally strong Pokémon. Eh, well, maybe a level 100 Electros? Even if they are the same level, Pokémon can have very different stats and abilities. A Pokémon raised by a trainer is stronger than one in the wild, which is why you get more XP. Oh, and, uh, yeah, this thing. If we'd used it before... Which PC should be accessed? This would have said someone's PC. Now, of course, it says Bill's PC because we've met Bill and sent him uh, 1 million and 50 Zubats. My Pokemon was poisoned. It fainted while we were walking. Yeah, yeah, it will do that. Eventually, I believe they took that out. It'll go down to like 1 HP, but it won't faint. Okay, we already talked to you. Uh, what do you got to say? We're careful about pollution here. We've heard Grimer multiplies in toxic sludge. Yes, they do. And then they turn into mucks. And then they run amok. I'm sorry. I am the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Sure, not. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. An old rod. Yeah, okay. It's, it's like the finest poetry. It's boring. I, I'm not a fisher. A fisher person. I, I don't... I get bored. Okay, we talked to her. Machop! A machop is stomping the land flat. I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is tamping the land to lay the foundation. Construction machops. Who'd have thought? Uh, actually... I want to check something out. Pokedex doofus. Uh, numerical mode. Yeah, you can check by habitats. Yeah, these... We've got ones we've seen and ones we've caught. And you only have to see every Pokemon to complete the Pokedex and make Professor Oak's day. That said, you know, we're not exactly... Yep, see, we just saw... Well, no, we've seen other Machops, too. But I believe that... Oh, I should have checked. Well, I'll check later. I'm pretty sure just seeing them like this will let you uh, have them. Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fa fans welcome. Sure. Oh, and the, that... Remember what I said about charging the um, fame chat of the Versus Seeker? You have to walk a hundred steps. So, the length of one repel. Seal! Yo! Let's, let's check this out. Okay. So, we're looking for sea Pokemon. Yeah. Star you, star me. Shelter. Horsey. Hmm. Water's Edge Pokemon. Goldeen, Slowpoke, Squirtle, Wartortle. Okay, I guess the seals don't cure. A to Z move. This is nice, actually. Okay, so no, we... T the seal that we just saw does not count for our Pokedex. Aww. And then, of course... Choo! Pikachu! Would you admire my Pikachu's adorable tail? 
Our chairman is very vocal about Pokemon. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Sure. Listen up. My favorite rabbit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nintendo really, like... Oh! Uh -huh. We get a bike voucher. We can go back to Cerulean and get a bike. That's... My favorite furrow will fly me, yeah. I hope you like cycling. Ah, beats walking. Oh dear, my seal is far more attractive. By double, I'd say. Then what? The guy's Pikachu? Then you? I mean... Hi! Do you have a Spearow? No. That's too bad. I mean, uh, far-fetched are not... They're not really absolutely horrible. Vermilion Harbor. All right. <sighs> so yeah, you can catch your own magic carp and don't have to pay 500 bucks for them. And we get the bike v voucher. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, what? So we could get that, uh, yeah, let's see here. All right, we've got some sand, bottom left corner. Here. There's a lot of sand. Maybe here. Or not. I'm not very good at that. Alright, there is a there's a max elixir somewhere around here, but yeah. Notice! Route 12 may be blocked off by a sleeping Pokemon. Yeah, to to Lavender Town. We're not really ready to go there. Or, for that matter, out there, we're gonna go back to Cerulean. Uh, I will spare you watching me walk, but I will meet you back at the bike shop. And we're back here at the Cerulean bike shop. Let's talk to the nice gentleman. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. Thanks. Thank you. Come back again sometime. Now, I want to show you something nice. Well, useful. Can we do the key item? Bicycle! We can set that. That's not what I wanted to do. Register. Press A. And that will let us register it to a folding bicycle. Oh, it, check this out. If we try and use it inside... Pen! This isn't the time to use that! I think originally he said something about, like, it's time and place for everything. So, yeah, we're... Okay, you can go faster if you hold B, I guess, or maybe not. <sighs> but you are faster than the running shoes. Well, that was stupid. All right, I'm gonna head back to. Uh... I'm gonna head back to Vermilion, and I will meet you there. Hey, those bikes are very important. Okay, we're back in Vermilion City. Let's go to the Pokemart, because we want some... Let's see... Let's at least talk to some people. I think Pokemon can be good or bad. It depends on the trainer. Yep. There are wicked people who will use Pokemon. Yep, team are trafficking the rear Pokemon. They also abandon Pokemon that they consider unpopular or useless. That's the sort of horrid people they are, Team Rocket. Hi there, may I help you? I'd like to see your wares, please. Pokeballs. Super potions. I think we're okay. Uh, paralyzed heals, which you might want. They did add ice heals, but yeah, repels. Um, I've got one. Let's get five more. Yeah, that's fine. We've got enough money. God knows. Uh, let's uh check. Paralyzed heals. How many do I have? I'm gonna get four. Good. And... No. Super potions. I think I'm still good. Uh, you know what? How am I with antidotes? Nine. I think I'm fine. Okay. Nope. I'm good. For now, anyway. Always want to shop. 
All right, there is a gym here, but we cannot get to it. So let's go down and check out the SSM. Okay. Can I talk to you? Thank you. The SSC luxury cruise ship. It visits for a million once a year. And in the anime, it's Sink. Welcome to the SSN. Welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Pen flashed the guard. Or I mean the SSN ticket. Alright, so. Alright, what do you have to say? Uh, the passengers are restless from this long voyage. You might be challenged by the more bored ones. Yeah. Alright. So, let's see. We can do anywhere we want. Go anywhere we want. We ne don't necessarily... Uh, you can go into the rooms, but we don't want to do that right away. Hyper Potion! We're not going to use that for a long time. Alright. If we walk in here... Talk to this gentleman. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Well, that is what the move does. Right, and now we get another super potion. So that's pretty nice. Now in this next room, there's gonna be trainers. Water trainers, mostly. Th that's what this place is, basically water trainers. Jupiter. Uh, actually, we're gonna switch Sonico out first. And Jupiter can, you know, do backup. Alright. Come on then, my sailor's pride is at stake! You're the fighter, okay. Sailor Duncan would like to battle. Sailor Duncan sent out Horsey. Duncan. McLeod of the Clan McLeod. Vine Whip. Bubble. That's not gonna help you a lot. It's not very effective. Sweet. Sonico gained quite a bit of XP and is now equal leveled to Jupiter. Sailor Dumbledore's shelter will pen change Pokemon. No, I'll let Sonico have this one. He also has a Tentacool, who I'm going to have Jupiter take on. Shelter. Okay, I have an odd affection for the Shelter line. Not because they're particularly interesting, except, well, Cloyster. Cloyster are the most, one of the most suggestive Pokemon I have ever seen. Um, not only do they look like... Okay, I, I'm going to be an adult. They look like vaginas, complete with a spike right where you would find the clitoris. Straight men, take notes. Uh, yes, I will. Uh, on top of that, if you have ever played Pokemon Puzzle League, I think Lorelei has a cloister. And it has the most suggestive voice clips. It sounds like a creeper. Cloister. It, it's, it's, yeah, look, look up. I'm sure you can find it on the net. It's awful. Uh, tentacle are water poison types. So, uh, I don't really want this guy poisoning, using poison against Sonico, because I think poison does self-resist, but I'm not sure. Constrict. Oh, that's not gonna help you much. Right. It's super effective. Yes. And we're going to get attacked, you know, Jupiter, by this other trainer. Your spirit sank me. I love how these guys are wearing sailor uniforms that I don't think anybody's navy has worn since World War II. You know what they say about sailors and battling? That you do it on shore leave when you're drunk? Sailor Leonard McCoy. Another shelter. Right. Alright, vine whip it to death. Ooh, more icicle spear. It doesn't hurt as much as it could. 
it is super effective, but we're pretty tough. Alright, so Sonico is leveling up again. Sonico is going to level fairly quickly from what I hear. Alright. Good battle, mate. What? Sonico is evolving! Awesome. I wondered when she was going to do this. All right. Oh, shit. Well, she'll evolve after I hit B when I meant to hit A. Or trying to speed it up. I think I need to hit start, actually. Well, she'll... That's fine. Yeah, B button is how you stop her from evolving if, like, you want her to learn something. I let... Um? I... There is... <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's one of those things you really should have thought about before it left your mouth. Smoke screen drops our accuracy. However, Vine Whip is still really, really good. All right. Um, let's see. Yes. Jupiter, you're up. Jupiter's probably going to get more, you know, I like everybody to be roughly. And these two are my water specialists. I guess he's not actually, the, the guy I was thinking of isn't actually the third gym. Oh well. His Sailor Dylan is about to use Horsey. No, nope, I'm going to let Jupiter have this one too. Thundershock. Hey, critical hit. It's super effective. Yay! And the horsey fainted. Yeah. Oh, come on! Lost it. Pin got, you know, yada yada. Okay, I guess she's got to level up again. Oh, well. All right, so we got an ether there in this next room. Um, I'm actually gonna put Jupiter in the front. I like the music in here. All right, this is TM44 rest. It puts you to sleep for three turns. Even us sailors have Pokemon too. Um. Slight redundancy in that. E use even or two, but not most. Sailor Huey and the gooey kablooey. I make no apologies for my love of Calvin and Hobbes. Thundershock. Poison Sting, of course. Crud, my Pikachu is poisoned. Take him down fast, Jupiter. I was going to bring out Sonico for the next fight anyway. Jupiter is already poisoned. Alright. Poison does an eighth of your health in damage, or of your max health in damage each turn. So, one eighth of 50 is one quarter of 25 is Roughly six, six points rounded down. If I'm right. And Jupiter leveled up. Sailor Huey is about to use Star You. Yes. Sonico, darling, you're up. <sighs> I'll, I'll actually let Sonico take on the next Tentacruel, too. Star You's used Rapid Spin. Oh man, really? Vine whip it again. Yeah, she's um she's used up a lot of her PP, but not all. We're good. It's too bad she doesn't have any other um Yep, she gained XP. We defeated Sailor Huey and the Gooey Kablooey, yes. 
Okay, you're not bad. Thanks, dude. Alright. Oh, fuck. Right, antidote for the Pikachu. <sighs> that worked. No. Bag. Antidote. Use. Pikachu. I love this music. It's so pretty. Uh, let's see. Use a potion on Sonico. That will get her almost to fall. Um, let's see. Super potion is 50. Nah, I'll use a potion on the Pikachu. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. I wasn't gonna use up 50 for 30. Okay. Um. Sonico, you get to be out front because I want to get you leveled up again. Alright, so we got a fisherman and a sailor. Start with this guy. Hello, stranger. I can't tell you if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Your attire gave it away. Fisherman Bernie would like to battle. Fisherman Bernie sent out Tentacle. Go, Sonico! Alright, we're gonna see if... Yep, Vine Whip. Supersonic. It missed! Ah! Okay, her Vine Whip isn't doing a hell of a lot. So, because of the poison type. Jupiter, switch in. Yeah, I wasted a Vine Whip. Okay, well, Jupiter, see what you can do. Thundershock. Jupiter's confused. Yes, yes. Oh, come on, dude. Constrict. This could be bad. Speed fell. Come on, Jupiter. Come on, Jupiter. Power through. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on, Jupiter. Oof. Ow. Poison sting. Okay! I'm I'm going to switch out the Pikachu. Jupiter is hurt by poison. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not risking anything. Who can I deal? Your water... Alright, Gabriel, get in there. Let's see what you can do. <sighs> Your bug... Let's see. Really? Alright, uh, confusion. Your bug flying, which means I think you your flying makes you not immune, but strong against poison. Good. Maybe that... How do you like that, jerk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gabriel is uh, not particularly weak to poison. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll have him fighting tentacles from now on. There we go. Sonico got experience. Jupiter got experience. Gabriel got experience. Fisherman Barney is about to use Shelter. Yes! Sonico, come on out. I know I have like a couple ethers. Which I should use on Sonico because uh, we're really going to need her. Vine Whip. Yeah, she's running low, but well. And so no co good. She leveled up. Good. So she should evolve after this battle if I'm not stupid again. Uh, no. Alright. Vine Whip. Water Gun! Yeah, not gonna do a hell of a lot. Wow. And one more. Alright. Star use defense rose. Yeah, that's not helping. Grass is special. Alright! So Star you fainted. Player to shoot Fisherman Barney. I'm not doing any purple dinosaur jokes. Alright. Alright, 
I don't know if there's any way to speed up Sonico's evolution. Apparently not. Okay. Uh, congratulations! Your Sonico evolved into Weepin' Bell! Sonico is not sure this is an improvement. Um, alright, bag. Antidote first. On the Pikachu. Now he's going to get a Super Potion. Because, yeah. All right, Sonico's okay. Ah, well, except that we need to put her. I have two ethers. I will use one on her for a vine whip. All right. And weirdly enough, she's not actually fighting in the next fight. We're going to put Gabriel in. Yeah, right. Sailor Philip. Yeah. You're walking the plank if you lose. Uh, I don't think so. I've got a squirtle who would take if, uh, offense to that. Sailor Philip. This is his only Pokemon, and uh, we've got a pretty badass butterfly. That's super effective. Okay. Oh, and he's confused. Good. Maybe he'll knock himself out. Come on. Come on. Damn. Focus energy! That raises critical hit rates. Uh, focus punch um, is the, it's sort of the same, except you can't, it takes one turn to focus, and if you get hit, you lose it. Lear, you must be confused. Alright, super effective. Alright, arg, beaten by a kid. Damn straight. And there we go, okay. Now we can't really leave to heal. I think if you leave, that's it. You're screwed. But now we can start fighting the, um... Trainers, I did not mean to go in that door. Let's see. All right, oh, back upstairs, north until you hit a wall. That's here, okay. Yeah, we're gonna start with this one, but we're at almost half an hour. So um, I'm actually gonna save it right here and we will continue on with all of these trainers here for quite some time. Uh, but first, yeah, all right. So yeah, next time we will continue on with every trainer on this uh, boat. So yes, I would like to save. There is already a saved file. Yes, it is. Do not turn off the power. No shit. All right. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. And I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. You're kidding me. 78 profiles in the previous LP and not one of them was Mareep. Well, this injustice needs to be rectified and stat. Mareep is one of my favorite Pokemon, not so much for their game use as the fact that they are an incredibly geeky reference and one Japanese games love to make. So let's take a look at our little lamb. Its fleece isn't quite as white as snow, but everywhere the penguin went, the lamb was sure to go zot. Mareep is most probably a combination of Mary and Sheep, referencing the famous nursery rhyme I just mangled. It's also an anagram of Ampere, which probably affected the spelling more than anything. That's because Mareep's Japanese name is Meripu. Yeah. This is probably a combination either of Mary or Me, the onomatopoeia for a sheep's bleat, and of course, the word sheep. Mareep is pretty sheep like. It's probably partially inspired by the legend of the Golden Fleece, and also how wool is really, really good at picking up a static charge. The yellow and black striping on the horns and tail are commonly used signs of high voltage do not screw with, and the orb on the tail resembles an indicator light or a light bulb. Even more than that, of course, Mareep and its family are almost certainly inspired by the title of the Philip K. Dick novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Most of us know it b better as Blade Runner, which is why I have a pair of Mareep in Omega Ruby named Rick and Rachel. 
Oh, and shiny Mareep are pink. And that's probably because sheep's wool can have an odd resemblance to cotton candy. At level 15, Mareep evolves into Flaffy. This is probably a combination of Fluffy and Ba, the classic sheep noise. Japanese name is Mokoko, probably derived from Mokomoko or Fluffy, and maybe also influenced by Yomo, which means wool. So pretty good translation there. Flaffy and Shiny Flaffy are both pink, just different shades of it, and they have less wool. The pink color may be to suggest a sheared or naked sheep, and the wool that remains now looks like hair. At level 30, Flaffy evolves into Ampharos. This is Ampere, a unit measuring current, and Pharos, Greek for lighthouse. The Japanese name is Denryu, which is unsurprisingly another pun. Depending on how it's written, Denryu can mean electric current or electric dragon. In terms of design, Ampharos is based on a sheep, yes, but also a lighthouse. Note the long neck and great height, and of course, a light-emitting tail. It's no accident that the Ampharos you meet in gold, silver, crystal it works in the lighthouse. Interestingly enough, part of the lack of wool in the design may be because Ampharos was originally going to be electric dragon type in the earliest versions of gold and silver. And speaking of dragons, yeah, Ampharos can go mega, and that's when it picks up both that long-awaited dragon type and also a lot of styling gel. The flowing mane, curled horns, and sleek body style suggest Mega Ampharos is partially based on the Chinese dragon. No clue why Shani Ampharos continue to be pink.